everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the Holly Jolly tag. Now, I love Christmas, so of course I had to do some type of Christmas tag or holiday tag, if you want to say that. I love Christmas. My room is pretty Christmassy to the max. I just love Christmas, and if you want to see a holiday room tour, stay tuned for that, because I might be doing that. Might. But if you want that, comment down below as well. Okay, so for today's video, it's going to be the Holly Jolly tag. Now, I love the holidays and everything has to go with the holiday. So I thought to myself, you need to do this because why not? I had this Christmas hat on just for this video. I got it from Target a couple years ago and it's pretty cute. So let's get on with the tag. And if I'm looking down, just looking at the questions because I need to read them. Favorite Christmas movie. Okay, so I have a couple. I love Christmas movies. It's like my favorite is around the holidays. Just be around my family and we watch Christmas movies and everything. I just, I'm that person that could watch a Christmas movie in like July. I don't know. There might be something wrong with me. But my favorites are, of course, the Polar Express. If you don't like the Polar Express, I don't even know. Like, what? How do you not like that movie? It's like, oh my god, it's the best. And what about that conductor? Like maybe a little crazy but yeah i love that movie it's like it's like the definition of christmas and everything and i also like elf like that's just funny like holiday movie and everyone loves elf as well so so the next one says are you on the naughty or nice list i would hope i'm on the nice list but you never know maybe maybe you can tell me naughty or nice which one am i tell me in the comments down below number three says show us an embarrassing christmas card photo we know you have one okay I actually don't think I have one because my mom used to take all the pictures and she'd be like come on sit like this I can show you a cute one but I don't know if I can show you like an awkward one I don't know so I'm just gonna show you a cute one so I'll put it in right here if I can find one have you ever had a white Christmas I live in New York so most years we have a white Christmas um we always have like a ton of snow where I, I live like like, we could have a couple of feet of snow and it's crazy and everything and actually surprisingly this year, this year we don't have any snow yet and I'm not complaining I haven't had to walk around in that snow we haven't had to drive in that snow so I'm not complaining about that at all like I love having a white Christmas but if this Christmas were to be green and I didn't have to walk in snow I'd be completely okay with that okay so the next one says where do you usually spend your holiday so my holiday traditions have been the same for um, a while so I'm Christmas Eve I go to my grandparents house on my mom's side and usually it's like my grandparents and my family and then my great grandmother over there on Christmas Eve and usually on Christmas Eve we just um, hang out and everything we have food we don't open presents we used to on Christmas Eve but now we open all our presents on Christmas Day so for Christmas Day um, it's at my house my grandparents from my mom's side come over and it's actually just them and my family to come over. So my Christmas day traditions are my are on Christmas morning it's just my family with my parents and my brother and I and we open presents and everything together. Then usually around like noon or a little bit after that my grandparents will come over and we'll open gifts with them and everything and we'll have a nice meal and everything and then we just have the rest of our day but usually like the weekend before Christmas Christmas, we will go see my grandma which is on my dad's side of the family and my aunt my uncle and sometimes my cousins over there and that's what we do for the holidays it's pretty simple and everything but I really love it and it's just great times play or sing your favorite Christmas song okay so I have a couple like who doesn't have a couple so okay so my first favorite song is snow globe by Matt Wirtz it's my favorite Christmas song I don't know if it's totally Christmas -y. wait yeah it is <laughs> I also love what Christmas means to me. I'm gonna play that. <laughs> 
So those are my two favorites that I can think of right now. I also love Rocket Around the Christmas Tree. And of course, it's beginning to look like Christmas. And Michael Bublé is also my favorite for Christmas songs. But, you know, I'm just going to mention those two so you don't have to listen to me sing forever. <laughs> because I can't sing. Do you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? I open usually all my presents on Christmas Day, but sometimes my parents are like, you can open one present on Christmas Eve. Like, why not? You can do that and stuff. But usually I just open them all on Christmas Day, which I kind of like because then you can just open all your presents on Christmas Day and it's just nice that way and stuff. I just love the feeling of opening presents on Christmas Day. It's just so nice. So next one is, can you name all Santa's reindeer? Well, let's see. There's Dasher and Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Donner, Cupid, Rudolph. I don't know if I got all of them, but let's see. What are the names of Santa's reindeer? Okay, so it says Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. So I think I said Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Donner. Bl I don't know if I said Blitzen. I definitely didn't say Comet. Or did I say Comet or Cupid? I don't remember, but I definitely don't know the names of Santa's reindeer. So what holiday tradition are you looking forward to most this year? I'm really just looking forward to spending some time with my family and, and giving my presents to my parents and everything. I really love what my dad and I picked up for my mom. I can't wait for her to see it. She'll love it. And I just can't wait to spend time with family and everything and just be around my family and stuff and just enjoy the whole holiday season because it's sad that it's coming to a close but let's be honest I'm gonna still be listening to Christmas music for probably another for three months because you know it's just not enough time in the year for Christmas. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? Okay so my Christmas tree is fake I so I have a fake tree I almost said real but I have my own tree and that is fake as well. We used to get um real trees for years and years I think I was 14 or 15 when we stopped getting real trees and then my mom just started getting fake trees and it's actually a lot easier because you can put your tree out in October if you want to you can put a tree out in November if you want to you can put it out as early and it's not gonna die so that's why I love fake trees I used to be like oh but I love real trees I love getting out and going to get the tree we don't have to go in the cold to get my tree we don't have to chop our tree down we just Put it up whenever we feel like it. I kind of like that. Okay, so Eleven says, hands down, what's your all-time favorite holiday food and holiday sweet tree? Okay, so I love having love having ham on Christmas Eve. It's my favorite. I love ham so much. Like, it's amazing. And then I also like fudge. I love fudge. And I know it's a store-bought, but I love the truffles, like the Lindor truffles. Like, that speaks Christmas to me because I just love them. And I just, I don't know. I know that at Christmas Eve you can get them all year round, but... I have them all the time around Christmas time. So basically any food we have on Christmas, I put the word Christmas in front of it. I don't know why, I just do. So yeah, Christmas lasagna, it's special because it's on Christmas. Giving gifts or receiving gifts better. Yes, like anybody, I love opening presents. It's fun to open presents and see what somebody got you because obviously if they got you something, they really put thought into that gift. But also I, I really love giving gifts. I love picking out things. I like shopping for people. I just like picking out the perfect gift for someone because when you give somebody a gift and their reaction I love that like that's the best show us your tackiest Christmas attire um ugly Christmas sweater so I don't have an ugly Christmas sweater I don't have like ugly Christmas clothes I don't have any of that and I don't go to like ugly Christmas sweaters parties well I don't have one currently so I can't show you that but maybe next year I will and I will show it to you just maybe. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? I love being home for the holidays. I love being around snow for the holidays, especially Christmas and everything. But I would love to spend Christmas like in Hawaii. That'd be cool. I think that'd be so cool to spend in like Hawaii. I'd love to spend it somewhere tropical. I, like I'm always that person that's like, no, I want to be home for the holidays. But you know, spending in Hawaii wouldn't be a bad idea. Like that's my Christmas present, going to Hawaii for Christmas. I wouldn't be complaining at all. 15 says, does your family have a special holiday recipe you like to help me? I guess we have a special holiday recipe for like fudge and stuff like that since we do make like Christmassy cookies or desserts I should say. But we don't have like a special recipe. We kind of just like do what we always do. And I think like 
I don't think it's like a homemade recipe. 16 says, are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? Fail miserably, like I get the idea you're supposed to do it a certain way and everything, but I suck at wrapping presents. Like, don't be asking me to wrap your presents because your present will basically look like a circle and you'll be like, how did this happen? And I'll be like, uh -huh. Most memorable holiday memories. Something I really remember is a couple years ago, my parents got my brother and I iPads for Christmas and it was so funny like my mom videotaped us and she was like okay open your present and it was an ipad and my brother like and it was so excited and we screamed and i we were just so in shock because it's like what because of and stuff so we got ipads and we were just so excited that's when i remember a lot i also think the most memorable moment was my first christmas which is on tape because my parents tape everything and stuff i think it might be my first or second christmas i don't know my parents taped everything thing when I was younger, which I love because I can go back and watch it. 18 is kind of funny. It's what made you realize the truth about Santa. So my parents literally had to sit me down and tell me everything because I believed it all. When my mom asked me if the Tooth Fairy was, if I thought the Tooth Fairy was, I was like, yeah, it's like Cinderella and like Tinkerbell and stuff. And my mom's like, isn't real. And I was like, what mom? And then for Santa, I think, um, I think it was Santa I found it first or the Tooth Fairy. I don't remember which one it was first. But then I think my mom was like, he's not real either. It's me. And I was like, what? Like, can you, what? Did you just say that? Like, what? I was a kid that was like, oh, no, it can't be true. You've been lying to me. What? I was in shock and I was like, but mom, what? And I was devastated. But the good thing is I was the older one. So I got to play along with it for a couple more years. My brother's three years younger than me. The next question is, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? I make New Year's resolutions like every person and I try to stick to them, but I don't always, but I think I'm doing pretty good this year, but I actually don't remember half of my New Year's resolution. Oops, my bad. <laughs> okay, so the last question is, what makes the holiday special for you? Honestly, just being around family, giving presents, having good food. Yeah, all I need for Christmas is just being around family, having nice food, good conversation, Station, good Christmas music, opening up a couple of presents, just having time with my family. It's really important to me. I just, I really um, love having time with family and everything. And I just think it's great that I'm around my family. So that's what's special during the holidays. So that's it for the Holly Jelly tag. I had a really fun time doing this. I love tags. If you'd like to do this, you definitely should. It's really fun. I think you definitely enjoy it. And if you don't make videos, you can also like, and of course leave um, a comment down below answering some of the questions or all the questions. I'd love to hear your answers and everything. I hope you all have a great holiday, Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Just have a great one. I really hope you do. And just have a great year and a great new year and everything. Just have a great holiday in general. If you like this video, please Please give it a thumbs up. Comment any videos you want to see down below. Answer some of these questions down below. If there's any last minute holiday videos you want me to film and put up for you, I would definitely be happy to do that. So let me know which ones you want me to do down below. And also videos for the new year. I'm starting to plan videos for next year and everything. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the button right here because you want to see my videos because I post videos every week and you want to see my videos every week and you'll be notified when my video goes live and everything. And that's just great. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.